if you're using Ubuntu 1304 or Mint 15 and you're getting these random errors on boot up, well here's something you can do about it to solve the problem. Oh by the way, that error is a kernel panic. What you can do is upgrade the kernel and it might solve the problem. So in this video I'll be showing you how to upgrade the kernel within Ubuntu and Mint 15. Right, if you just go on to the mainline PPA, I'll provide a link for that in the description below. And scroll all the way down to the end. I just press the end key on the keyboard because it's quicker. Right, you need to download the oh, latest kernel. In fact, you don't have to download the latest latest, but I will in this video. It's the ones without the RC on them because that's a release candidate kernel. Up to you if you want them, but I'm not. I'm going to go for the stable ones. I have a 64-bit system here, so I'm downloading the two files with AMD64 and the one file with all. If you're using a 32-bit system, you want the i386 files and the all file. If you need to check, just open up the terminal and type in uname-m. It tells you there. So x86 will be a 32, x86 underscore 64 will be a 64-bit. Right, so that's all the files for me. Then just to confirm, I've got all of them in the downloads folder. Well, once again, open up terminal because I want to install all those in one go. I could double click on each one at a time and yes, so that'll work, but... So I'll navigate across to downloads and you can press tab to auto complete. So it's sudo dpkg dash i linux star dot deb. I could have just put star dot deb, it didn't really matter there. Type in your user password. Now once that's installed, reboot and it will reboot automatically into the new kernel. If it's gone wrong, when you reboot, you hold down the left shift key, you'll be presented with a grub screen. Go into advanced options and you can reselect the old kernel from there. So if the new one has caused you problems, you can go back into the old one and remove it. But now you have to do the kernel updates manually. So to take off the automatic kernel updates, uh, I have to remember which packages these are because I re removed mine some time ago. But I think it's the Linux generic and uh, anyway, I'll double check this and put notes in the description below, but you can do sudo apt-get remove all of those packages. If you need to remove the older kernels, then as you see, I've just used synaptic, typed in Linux and gone for installed and I can remove them from here. There's three packages. Right click, mark for complete removal. However, I want to double check mine before I do the complete removal. But that should solve the boot up issue. Well, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. See you later.